friends, welcome to the children's message. Gather around, I'm so glad you're here with me. Yeah, good to see you. All right, so I have a question, I think. I'll get this off. What do I, what do I have here? It's my, it's my wedding ring, isn't it? Yeah, this is, this is the ring that Pastor John gave me when we got married. And what, what do you think this ring represents? What do you think this represents? This ring represents the promise that Pastor John made to me that he will love me. And it also is the representative of the promise that I love him too. So this ring is the promise, shows the promise that we have for each other and the love that we share. So that's kind of a fun, a fun way to show a promise. So think about promises that you make. What are some promises that you might make? You might promise mom and dad that you're gonna do the dishes or clean your room, or you promise to go visit a friend or call grandma, or you promise your teachers that you're gonna do your homework. We make all kinds of promises, don't we? But do we always keep them? Not, sometimes we don't, don't we? Sometimes it's hard to keep a promise. But today's story is about a promise that God made. So shall we try reading our, our story? It's about a man named Noah. Do you remember who Noah was? What did Noah do? Noah was the one that built the ark, remember? And he took all two pairs of every animal and bird and creature onto his ark. And then it started to rain, didn't it? And it rained and it rained until all the earth was covered in water, except for Noah and his family and the animals on the ark, right? Okay, so let's hear the story about the promise. The world was a mess. All the people God had created were doing all kinds of things that were wrong, all except for one man named Noah. When God's people hurt each other, Noah helped them feel better. When they ignored God, Noah prayed. Noah, said God, I'm going to flood the whole earth, but I will save you and your family. Build an ark, fill it with two of every kind of animal. Noah obeyed God and got to work. He measured and cut, he sanded and nailed, he filled the ark with two of every kind of animal. Rain clouds gathered in the sky. Noah's family hurried onto the ark with the animals. God shut the door. The rain began. For 40 days and 40 nights, it rained. Inside the ark, birds sang. Dogs barked. Snakes hissed. But one morning, everything was quiet. The rain stopped. Slowly, all the water dried up. Noah and his family jumped off the ark and wiggled their toes in the dirt. Birds flew, dogs ran, snakes slithered. Every animal family came out of the ark. Noah looked at the bright blue sky and saw a beautiful rainbow. Then God said, this is my covenant to you and all people. I promise never to flood everything again. The rainbow is a sign of my promise. The rainbow is a sign of God's promise that he won't flood the earth, but also his promise to love us. Do you ever see rainbows? You know, since we've moved here, I haven't seen so many rainbows as I have here. There's every summer there, or spring, there's always a rainbow and there's more than one rainbow, and sometimes it's a double rainbow, and they're just beautiful, and it reminds me that God loves me and God is with us. And even a couple of weeks ago, Pastor John was taking Rebecca to work, and it was dusk, and he was heading down Lewis Street towards Leonard Street, and there was a rainbow in the sky now. Can you imagine? In the middle of the winter with the snow on the ground, he saw a rainbow, and it reminded him of God's promise that he will always love us. Isn't that cool? I've never seen a rainbow in winter, but I love the rainbows. 
and all of the pretty colors. So when you, next time you see a rainbow, remember God's promise and remember that God loves you. Okay? Now we're going to try a holy experiment and we're going to try to make kind of a rainbow. All right? So bear with me and let's try and see if it will work. Okay? So we're going to try it. I might have trouble with my water part, but we'll see. So I've got, I've got my Skittles around, and we're gonna put some warm water, and I don't, Pastor John can see, can you see what we're doing? We put some warm water in the middle. And as the water spreads, here I need some more water. We'll see. Oh, come on now. Oh, there, it's starting. Can you see the, what's happening? It's not going the right way, but, okay, well, can you kind of see that the, my water's going all kinds of crazy directions. But what's supposed to happen is, and it sort of is, the, the colors are coming in, and they're going, they're going out, but they're supposed to be coming in and making a rainbow on the plate. What do you think? My colors are kind of running all together, aren't they? Maybe it's, maybe it's something you can try at home. If you get a whole bunch of Skittles and put them on the plate, and you put warm water in the middle, and then the colors are supposed to come to the center. So maybe I didn't do it quite right, but you, your colors You've got the oranges and the reds and the greens, right? So, so coming towards the middle, we should be making, maybe I shouldn't have used the purple, huh? But see if you can make a rainbow. Give it a try at home. And, and what colors are in the rainbow? Do you remember? Red and orange and yellow and green and blue and indigo and violet. The rainbow up in the sky that God set for us to remind us that he loves us so much and to remind him to remind us of the promise that he makes to us so the next time you see a rainbow think about God's promise and feel loved and held by God thanks for joining me and maybe you can make your rainbow too take care we'll see you again